Good day, gentlemen. Our topic for this class is parabola. And uh, based on definition, uh, parabola is defined as a locus of a point which moves so that it's distance from a fixed point called the focus and from a straight line called the directrix are always equal. The example that we're using is this one here. Our objective is to draw this parabola having a height of 120 millimeters and a width of 100 millimeters. The first step is to draw a rectangle with a width 100, height 120. For that, I click on my rectangle command. I'll be using dynamic input. Then I'm going to left click. Oops, I realize I'm using the wrong layer. So I'm going to ensure that I'm on my construction layer. That's always the first thing to do. Change to the correct layer. Always draw on your construction layer. Back to rectangle, left click my start point. For the X value, I'm going to type 100, 100, tab, or comma, then 120, 120, enter. That should give us a rectangle. Now that we have done that, the next step is to establish a uh, center line, All right? So for that, I'm gonna, well, let me just draw a line for now. We can always change after. Click here, click there, enter. The next step is to Divide, <clears throat> divide here into eight equal parts and the side or the height into four equal parts. Before I do that, I need to explore this to ensure that each side is independent. That I left click onto this, then I type X, I press X, then enter to explode it. So each side is now broken up into, this figure is now broken up into four independent sides. Next step is to divide the side into four equal parts. For that, I type D, I, V, then enter key. When the command bar says select object to be divided, I'm gonna select this side. Once it turns blue, I click the enter key. Enter. It asks me to select the number of sections that I want, number of segments. In this case, I want it to be four. I press four, enter. And it would have generated my four points there. All right. Um, the next step is to divide this section into twice the number of parts that I divide here. So in this case, I want to divide here into eight equal parts. So I hit spacebar, and what spacebar does, it reactivates the last command used. We must always pay attention to the command bar. What it says, select object to be divided. And I click this line. Once it turns blue, I click enter. Number of segments I want in this case is eight, which is two times the number of the other parts. Eight, enter. Our next step is to start doing some, some numbering, some labeling, right? So for that, I am gonna start labeling here zero, one, two, three, four, all right? So for that, I go up to text, so I click on text, 
text, I want single line text. I come on bar will tell me to specify my start point. I want to start here. Left click there. It will then ask me to specify the text height. Um, for this example, I want a text height of about five millimeters. So five, type five, enter. It then says specify rotation angle. I want this text to be perfectly horizontal. I don't want any inclined text. So I click enter to accept zero. I then, then click wherever I want my first point to be here to be. I'm first, um, I need to change. I probably should have changed to my, um, changed to my text layer first, but it's okay. So I type zero, click here, one, click here, two, three, down to four. Here, click here for zero. Please note where zero starts from. One, two, three, and here would have been my four. Four. Okay, all right. Click outside, then escape. I'm gonna move this around to the side here. Zero, escape. <clears throat> my next step is to, I'm gonna move my four also, bring the four up, up to here. Escape. My next step is to draw some vertical line through these. Is to draw lines radiating lines from this point all the way through these points, all right? Now, for that, I'm gonna go to, Go to um, I could type ray R A Y R A Y for ray, enter, or I could click drop down, click on this, but I think ray is much easier. I want to use a different color construction line, so I'm gonna change to my black. I click here as my start point here, I then click here, it's one point. Here as a second point, here third point, and here as my fourth point. All right, escape. So we have that. My next step is to draw some vertical lines downward. All right, for that I'm gonna use a command called X line. So I'm gonna type X L for X line, then enter. I then need to go down to the command bar and read the instruction. X lines are construction lines, by the way. So these are, these are construction lines. Sorry, I'm trying to move this thing around. So space bar to reactivate here. So here I want the yeah, horizontal, vertical, angle, or bisect. I want vertical. So I click here. One vertical line, second vertical line, third vertical line. Then I escape. No, I don't want these, all these excess around here. I want to clean up my drawing. So to clean up my drawing, I'm gonna trim this. So I type TR, press enter key two times. Then I'm gonna come down here to this option called fence. Yeah, when I click onto fence, what fence does, fence allow you to clean up a drawing nicely by just touching those lines. Once you finish touching the last line, you must click the enter key. You must click enter key. If you don't, it will not trim those lines. Left click, go across, escape. So now I have some lines here. My final step now is to, is to um, draw the first part of my parabola. So I'm gonna plot points now, zero, um, one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. Before I do that, I must click on my construct, my outline, right? 
Next, I'm gonna use spline. Type spline, SPL for spline, enter. What spline does, spline allows us to draw curve lines, all right? So I'm gonna start at zero. All right, before I do that, I need to plot my points first. Good idea. So one meets one here. Two, two meets two here. Three meets three here. And four meets four right here at this point, right? So we know exactly where we want to plot. So let's go back to our spline. So click here, it's spacebar to reactivate spline. And I'm gonna start here, first point, second point, third point, that point, then down to here. It's extremely important that you pull this down somewhat to add some tension to this so that it creates a nice smooth curve, all right? Once you have done that, we are gonna trim off the excess. So we type TR, enter, enter twice, then click the excess section right here, escape, and that is done. No. The good thing about AutoCAD is that when you're drawing these things, you don't need to, re re to uh, replicate the same thing. Yeah? This is symmetrical. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the software. I'm going to mirror all of this. So I left click right here, and I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to type mirror, M-I. So this is the mirror command, or if you want to type MI, enter. It will then ask you to specify the first mirror point. We want to mirror this right here. Oh, guess what? We haven't selected everything. So let's go, let's go again. Everything hasn't been selected to be mirrored. So we go MI, enter. Click here click there, then you must click the enter key, to ask, enter key, enter. And there we have it. We have the object being mirrored and our parabola being formed right there. It's important, we must always label or write down the instruction given to, to, to um, go with the solution. So for this, the instruction is for you to draw a parabola when giving the height and the span. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to text, click on the text drop down, click single line, click where I want my text to start, which in this case is here. Specify the text height of five, enter, that is good. Rotation angle, that is good. And I'm gonna type, to draw a parabola when given the span and giving the span and height. and uh, click outside, escape, that is done. We must dimension, all right? Very, very important. You must always dimension. So I'm gonna click linear here. I must first change my dimension there, dimension. And I'm gonna click here, there, bring this out a nice little distance. And for the top, I'm gonna, it's space bar to reactivate. Click here, there, for that, all right? And there we have it. So that is done, all right? Parabola is done. All right. 